simple rules which help to keep students motivated. Emphasize the most critical concepts continuously. Reiterate these concepts in lectures and assignments throughout the course. Include questions relating to these critical subjects on every exam, thus rewarding students for learning, retaining, and, hopefully, applying this knowledge in a variety of contexts. 1. Use visual aid. Provide students with a visual aid when possible to explain abstract concepts. A significant proportion of today's students are visual learners. For these students, a simple diagram, flashcards, videos or flowchart truly can be more valuable than a thousand words in a text or a lecture. This will motivate the students to elaborate on certain concepts. 2. Organize in-class activities. Use in-class activities to reinforce the newly presented material. After a new concept or subject has been presented via text reading, lecture, or class discussion, allow the students to put the concept into action by completing an in-class assignment. These assignments can be short, but they must be developed to ensure that the students understand the critical concepts underlying the new material. Typically, most learning takes place when the students are permitted to work in small groups, to refer to their text and notes and to ask questions of the instructor while completing the assignment. If these in-class assignments are part of the course grading scheme, class attendance also improves. 3. Show that the content is related. Help students create a link when teaching something new. If the student can link the new material to something already learned, the odds of learning the new material are greatly increased. Examples of possible links include prior material learned in this course, material learned in prerequisite courses, and real-life experiences of the students outside the classroom. 4. Show the importance of the vocabulary. Recognize the importance of vocabulary in a course. Students often struggle with new vocabulary in many courses, especially introductory ones. This is always a serious situation in English if the students are learning English as L2. To succeed in these courses, students must become comfortable with new terms or words. As subjects are presented, new and confusing terms should be identified and introduced to the students. The teacher can present simple real-world definitions and alternative terms or world, in addition to textbook definitions. One way to help students assimilate the course vocabulary is to create a vocabulary glossary on the instructor's website where new terminology is added, explained, and illustrated throughout the course. 5. Praise. Treat students with respect. Patronizing behavior may be expected in certain classes. Make some classroom rules and be firm on them. Reward those who follow these rules. However, most teenagers or adult students will not respond well to these rules. Thus give students their dignity, and they will give you their best efforts. 6. Challenge. Hold students to a high standard. If students are not required to maintain a specified level of learning and performance, only the most highly motivated students will devote the time and effort necessary to learn. In contrast, Maintaining high standards not only will motivate student learning, but it will also be the source of student feelings of accomplishment when those standards are met. Are you ready to teach English to ESL students? Each of these rules can help motivate even the most lethargic student, but rule in paragraph 6 and 7 are the most important. If students are not treated with respect and held to a high standard, Scrupulously following the first five rules will have much less impact and might end up being an exercise in futility. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.